Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spohr and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating some tropical themed cards and adding color to die cuts with Hero Arts inks. These cards feature brand new dies, stamps, all kinds of good stuff from the Hero Arts July 2022 My Monthly Hero release. I of course was drawn to the awesome fancy dies um, from this release. And so that's what we're going to concentrate as well as using, um, the latest Hero Arts inks. So Hero Arts has, um, kind of rebranded and packaged their inks. And I am going to be adding color with mini round ink blending brushes from Simon Says Stamp. This is some Kiwi ink that I'm using first. Let me zoom in a little bit closer here. Um, and while the ink might go on kind of blotchy as you see here with dye inks remember as they absorb into the cardstock it's going to smooth out i love this delicate kind of branch here and i was a little worried about adding color to it and maybe tearing the dye but truly these little br blending brushes work great because i don't feel like i'm tugging and pulling on such a delicate die cut we're going to use a little field greens now to add some extra color. I honestly just played around with different greens. I wanted all of my greenery to really be different colors for variety. And I'm going to just kind of add more of that to the center of my branch. And then we have some of these great like palm type leaves. I don't know, just so pretty. I'm gonna use a little forever green here. I am using the same ink blending brush for all. I am wiping it off on a microfiber cloth in between switching colors. You could use a paper towel or um, anything like that, but I kind of keep one brush per color and I simply just kind of wipe it off before inking it back up. And there is two sizes in this particular leaf and I'm gonna go ahead and ink up both of those. I am using the Waffle Flower uh, little mini stencil mat here. Mine is stained, it doesn't come pink. I, mine's stained and I have not been able to get it off even with everyone's suggestions, so. It's totally fine, it works great. Pink does not transfer to my die cuts. Now I'm gonna move on to moss ink. Um, there are so many great colors of green. I kind of wanted to use them all. I didn't, but um, I, I made my best effort. So here is some moss. And then kind of unexpected, but probably my favorite addition to any of the greenery on my branches and leaves and things is going to be pine ink. And I think it takes a minute for me to get to that one, but, oh, or maybe I'm going to use it now. Yay. Uh, pine kind of has a brighter green to it. You might not think with that name that it is, or maybe you do, maybe it was just me, but honestly, the addition of pine to any of my die cuts was one of my favorite things. So I even went back to this branch and I'm going to pull a little bit more of this kind of brighter green into there. I absolutely love it. I'm working on both cards mostly at the same time. Like mo I'm going to kind of do a lot more of the tropical florals first, and then we will come back to, um, the flamingo card, but I'm going to kind of mix them up. I really like the little tiny florals and I die cut multiple, multiple of those for my tropical florals card. So for the flowers, we're using blossom pink and azalea. And I did a blossom pink first and then just kind of adding a little azalea to the flowers. And you can see that with a small blending brush, like these small detail round blending brushes, you're able to just put the ink where you want it and not all over the die cut design. For the smaller flower, I want those to be a very pale, light yellow, almost white, but I don't want to leave it white. And so I did antique ivory. First, I'm going to use a little brown blending brush that I cleaned off really well to add that antique ivory. 
And then I believe spicy mustard is what I, yes, is what I'm going to use for the center. So I'm going to grab my yellow blending brush and add just a little bit of the spicy mustard right in the center. And I'm going to do that for any of the flowers for my tropical florals card. You can kind of see it starting to take shape. I'm really loving that. Now I am going to grab my splatter box. I use a plastic box here and I've got two four and a quarter by five and a half inch panels. I thought before I got too much further, I should go ahead and splatter my backgrounds that I want to use for my cards. And I thought with all these beautiful greens and kind of bright colors, pinks, for my die cuts, I wanted to use Salvage Patina Distress Oxide ink, but I don't want to completely cover my background. I want it to be very splattery. Um, and so I spritzed it maybe three, four times on each panel. One is going to be landscape. One is going to be portrait. Here's the landscape that's going to be our more floral card. You can see I did go ahead and ink a few extra greenery pieces off camera and some extra flowers. And I'm trying to find a way to highlight a sentiment for my card. And I settled on the Hero Arts Diamond Infinity Dies. These are previously, previously, <laughs> previous release. Wow. Um, and they're a fantastic basic, something different. I do a lot of sentiment strips. And while sentiment strips would be awesome and fine here, I wanted something different, something decorative. So I think we're going to use these Diamond Infinity dies here today and kind of tuck our greenery and florals all around it. Kind of helps give us a fantastic base for everything as well, kind of grounding everything so it's not just floating any, everywhere. The Hello Friend sentiment that we are going to be using for our card comes from Cockatoo, which we'll add here in a minute. But as I'm laying out my, my greenery and my florals, this gives you a very good idea of what else you might need. So I'm taking Dandelion and Tangerine Hero Hues inks, and I have some more die cuts from those fancy, or pardon me, tropical florals fancy dies, and I am adding color to these. And I love the little bit of orange, um, yellow orange here. I think it's going to add a fantastic pop of color. And as much as I like one, I think two is going to look even better. So I have two of those. Now I have my Infinity Dies die cut. I die cut the larger one I'm using from Paradise Hero Arts cardstock and the smaller one from White cardstock. I'm going to stamp Hello Friend with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. That is from the brand new Cockatoo stamp set, which is darling. It has a cockatoo in it and some beautiful florals for stamping and coloring. I'm going to glue the Hello Friend white Infinity Diamond to the Paradise Blue one. And then I'm going to put some foam adhesive on the back of this, but we're not going to adhere it to our card quite yet. And I picked the Paradise cardstock to perfectly match that uh, salvaged patina Distress Oxide ink in the background, really kind of pulling that blue. I think it helps with the tropical vibes, kind of like, you know, water, ocean, whatever the case may be. I, I really like it and I think it adds some interest to a background. I have to say, adding some Distress Spray of some sort, whether it's the regular dis Distress Spray or Oxide Spray, to your background like this has quickly become one of my go-to favorite ways of adding kind of a very distressy, splattery type background. I think it works for so many different card designs. I've got my Hero Arts Precision glue here, and then I'm figuring out how much of some of these larger leaves are going to be uh, shown, and then I'm simply just trimming away the excess. There is no point in trying to place the excess underneath the diamond. I don't want it sticking out underneath. And so I'm just kind of trimming away some of that. And we're going to build our floral design now. This was probably the most time um, consuming part of this entire project, just kind of tucking everything and getting everything exactly where you want it to go. But look at how amazing all those different colors of green inks that we used from Hero Arts look. 
I think this is probably one of my favorite things is even though it's a lot of green, it's a lot of different colors of green and it looks amazing together. And then tucking in the little bright pops of color with florals and things just makes it look amazing. And I did trim down these floral stems as well. So just trimming little bits and pieces off and I still haven't adhered the Infinity Diamond. I'm going to hold off on that until we get um, all of our leaves and things where we want them to go. And some of the pieces are going to be up on top of others. Some are going to, you can see I'm just trying to tuck them in to give it a little bit more natural feel. The small flowers for the most part, I think with the exception of maybe one, are going to be popped up with foam adhesive. And I'll show you that. I did trim down this long branch here as well. I'm not going to trim it down or trim very much of it down on the second card. I also used it on that one, the flamingo card, which we will get to here in a bit. Multiples are a good idea. So I have two of the kind of orangey yellow flowers and then I've got two of these smaller little leaves tucked over here grouping them together adding multiples we've got multiples of the little flowers I'm going to add all over adds to a really full floral scene so don't be afraid to add more um, pieces I kind of considered maybe adding another uh, branch and I thought you know I don't think so let's just add some flowers and see if that fills in the area now that we have all of our leaves in place, I can remove the backing from our foam adhesive squares and then just kind of pop the Hello Friend there. And I want some of the flowers to overlap our little kind of sentiment label, I guess I would call it. But there is quite a bit of white space and you guys know, guess you can guess what I'm going to do with that white space because I have to have a heart on every card. We're going to get there. <laughs> This is the flower I'm going to glue directly to the background because I'm kind of tucking it back behind some of the uh, leaves. And just figuring out where all of our little florals are going to go before we add our finishing touches with some embellishment. Oh, I love it so much. It's so bright, so happy. Just the perfect summery tropical themed card. Now I'm going to take the precision glue and I'm going to add little dabs to the center of my yellow flowers first and I'm using some creamsicle pretty pink posh pearls. You can use any kind of gemstone here, nouveau crystal drops if you wanted to, um, all kinds of things to add a little embellishment to the center of some of your flowers. And then I will add a few extra little um, pearls throughout. I think it balances it nicely. And then I really think I want to add a butterfly, but I think we're going to add that last because I want to do a butterfly on each card from the Birds of Paradise stamp set. So stay tuned. We're going to come back to this guy here in a little bit, but I am going to go ahead and add the rest of the pearls. I like to kind of share my thought process. You can really see it here as I'm working on both cards simultaneously that, you know, building on the design, finishing up the design, adding a few extra little things here and there really rounds it out and makes it so much more interesting to look at. I like the addition of a few little extra pearls just scattered around, not a ton. And I like that they're that kind of light orangey color. Couple little blue hearts here. We're going to match those to our background and also to the matted piece for our sentiment. I did a medium and a small together. I think that fills that in nicely without overwhelming the design. Cute, cute. And I think it's time to ink a flamingo. What do you guys think? So the flamingo here, oh my gosh, so excited about this flamingo. This is from the Lawn Ornaments Fancy Die. There's also a pinwheel in this. I did not do a pinwheel card. Let me know in the comments if you want to see one, um, but I love it. I love this flamingo. Um, I love the pinwheel too, but I am using the same soft blossom and azalea colors that I used for the flowers on the first card for my flamingo. 
and I wanted to really show how I am coloring it again with the small detail blending brushes. This is such a fast way, you guys, to color your die cuts. If you don't want them to be flat, you know, cardstock colors, or you don't want to color them in with markers, which definitely is more time consuming. It's beautiful, but it's more time consuming. Um, but if you want kind of custom colored shaded die cuts quickly and easily, I highly recommend some blending, detail blending brushes and your favorite inks, white die cuts, and then go to town. We're going to take some pitch black ink. And honestly, I didn't know if this was going to work and it worked perfectly. I love it. We added just a little bit to the tip of her flamingo beak. I thought about using a marker. I'm so glad I didn't because I think the inking was perfection. All right, we're going to take our portrait background now and I am going to figure out my placement. Now this one needs to be a little different. There is not a great spot for a sentiment label per se. So I will be adding my sentiment directly to the background. I tried so many different things. It was really hard to kind of figure out what to do here. I am gluing all the leaves directly to the background as well as the flamingo leg, but I am going to pop up the body of my flamingo with some foam adhesive. I think that helps make the flamingo pop. I love how the pink looks against the green and blue background. I think this flamingo is just darling. And I know I say this every month and or every time I use Hero Arts fancy dyes, they truly have some of the best fancy dyes out there as far as detail to them. Whether you want to add shading with your inks like I'm doing today, whether you want to add coloring with Copic markers, which I have also done in the past many, many times, it is so easy to do because they really are so detailed, so good. And then I'm going to glue the leg. The leg is just way, way, way too uh, detailed. And I'm obviously imagining that the other leg is tucked up. So... Um, I only did the one and then I want to just kind of figure out my leaves and things like that. I'm trimming away anything that's hanging out looking kind of weird. And we want to build our tropical florals back behind. I did start with three. I do end up using four. I had some extra die cuts on my table and I felt like another a fourth would be fantastic. And then in the lawn ornaments, there's also like a little tuft of grass. So there's the grass, the flamingo pieces, and then two pin, pinwheel pieces in that. And I'm going to die cut the grass three times. I think it's going to help ground the whole thing. As I was looking at it, I felt like it needed a little something else down at the bottom. Hello is coming from the Monstera stamp set, also from the July release. We'll be stamping that in a minute. Lots of fantastic sentiments throughout any of the stamp sets. So if you kind of do the get them all, get all the add-ons. You're going to have lots of fantastic options. I like this stamp set a lot too. I did do my little tufts of grass in pine and kiwi, and then I'm going to tuck those down near the base. I am going to go ahead and stamp hello before I glue down the rest of my grass so I don't accidentally stamp right over it. And I took an acrylic block and stamped it. Living on the edge today, you guys. Didn't even get it, break out the misty. Now, I love this, but I definitely feel like we need to add some sort of embellishment to the flamingo card. And in order to do that, this is where I really wanted to pull in a butterfly. And so that's where we're going to take butterflies from our stamp set here. That's the Birds of Paradise stamp set which the Birds of Paradise image, oh my gosh, is gorgeous as well. And I'm going to add a little heart at the end of my sentiment. We're going to add some little pearls throughout the design using the creamsicle. Both cards feature a lot of the same things, just 
um, a little bit different design and obviously one focuses on a flamingo and one focuses more on the tropical flowers or florals. And then I want to keep the feel of the design but the butterfly images from the Birds of Paradise stamp set are stamps and not dies. You definitely could go to some of your favorite hero art sets that have butterflies in them if you would prefer to do like a white die cut and ink it up with inks. I am going to take these though. They're the perfect size. I've stamped them on some smooth white cardstock with the embossing and watermark ink, heat embossed with white embossing powder, and we're going to do embossed resist with dandelion and tangerine inks. These are the inks I used for the floral on the first card. It's going to make our butterflies really bright and it adds a great pop of color to both cards. I'm going to buff away any ink sitting on top of the embossed area. We're going to take the coordinating birds of paradise dies, die cut our images, and then we're going to glue these down. Um, I'm attaching the kind of side flying butterfly with foam adhesive, and then I'm putting foam adhesive underneath the wings on my open butterfly and glue down the center, and I'm going to use tweezers to pinch and hold him in place on the landscape style card until the glue completely dries. But the butterfly to me is just that perfect little finishing element. I'm trying to figure out where to put him. That looks good. We're gonna pinch that in place and our cards are all finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these two tropical themed cards adding color to die cuts with Hero Arts inks using add-ons from the Hero Arts July 2022 My Monthly Hero release. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Hero Arts My Monthly add-ons that you might be interested in. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to have you over there as part of our community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that thumbs up button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making or paper crafting video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you all next time. Bye.